Welcome back, my 19,000 free thinkers and those of you who have not subscribed yet. Today, we're going to go over Alina Haba, Trump's lawyer, the conspiracy theorist. The media is melting down over this, and that thumbnail idea was just burned into my head. So I got the details, and we'll go over it. I'm from the future. Subscribe to me if you want to live. Alina Haba, the Trump lawyer born of Iraqi immigrant parents, has been stirring the pot recently when she isn't slaying in the courtroom, golfing, soaking up rays at Mar-a-Lago, inciting erections. Apparently, she goes on conspiracy theorist tangents with excommunicated podcasters like Dave from the X-22 Report. Now, that show has been banned from Spotify, banned from YouTube for all of the misinformation, disinformation, and I would never bring any clips from the show into here to break any sort of terms of service. However, Media Matters uh, decided to run a piece on them and they have some transcripts. So we're going to go over what they say about this exchange, what is said word for word, and we'll see if we can fact check it together. Side comment. Does no one care that Trump is hiring a woman with Middle Eastern immigrant parents as like a DEI hire? Isn't that kind of a, a good thing to the left? The left honestly doesn't care, but we all know Trump just hires people who are effective. Eyes up here. So Media Matters says Haba is at least the third Trump attorney to appear on the Barbecue Anonymous affiliated program to push January 6th conspiracy theories. I love the way that they read these out. I'm just going to say barbecue and you understand what I'm talking about. On March 16th, Haba appeared on X-22 Report, a barbecue supporting podcast that has reportedly been tied to a violent incident. What incident? What, what are they talking about? At the beginning of the interview, Haba, who is at least the third Trump attorney to appear on the barbecue supporting show, told the host, Dave, I'm happy to be on. Finally. How fucking scandalous. During the interview, Fishman asked Haba if she thought an insurrection actually occurred on January 6th. And in response, she falsely suggested that the federal government was behind the insurrection, saying that people have testified that there were FBI assets put on the ground on January 6th and that there was a planned political movement and it wasn't by Republicans. She also added that she believed that the federal government has entities that are working and colluding with some of the alleged insurrection participants asking assets, why were they on the ground and why were they wearing MAGA hats? I love the falsely and baseless and like they just pre-package the end determination into the reporting. Like you can't just be a journalist. You have to put, this is the conclusion you will find, period. But here's the cool thing. With them on Media Matters here, you can just scroll down and then read what they said. I mean, they, they got it right here. So we got host. January 6th, the whole narrative is completely falling apart because now documentation and evidence is coming out that he actually did authorize like 10,000 National Guard. And Cheney, Liz Cheney, kind of hid it from him. But when you look at it, I mean, they were hiding information and they didn't want the public to know the information. I mean... Do you think there was an insurrection that actually occurred on January 6th? Alina. What I know, and I don't like the phrase because I think it's being completely misused. And what I know is there have been people that have testified in front of Congress that have said that there were FBI assets put on the ground on January 6th. I know that my client said, go peacefully and patriotically. I'm not sure how, when you add those two things up, that means there was an insurrection started by Donald Trump. It sounds to me like there was a planned political movement and it wasn't by Republicans. Look, there's no such thing as an unarmed insurrection incited by someone who said to go forth peacefully and patriotically. It's just not a thing. It's fabricated garbage. All right. Alec Baldwin killed more people than all of the insurrectionists combined. That's a fact, Jack. And he was better armed with a prop gun in Hollywood. Proof the cameraman does not always survive. Rest in peace. And if you look at the footage that has come out where they try to make it sound horrific, 
but you see people being guided with security. I mean, and I wasn't there. I'm not, I wasn't part of the administration, but I can tell you what I see on TV. I can tell you what I hear when people are testifying and none of that amounts to these words, fraud, insurrectionist, anything that they can disgusting phrases about women and his treatment towards women that are just not true and have no factual basis. And I see it over and over again. And I can't say that in any way, shape or form that I would ever amount to an insurrection with anybody, but Donald Trump, because they need to create stories. And I think they played a really good story. And when they did their own investigation, let's not forget Dave, all of a sudden the evidence is gone. All the evidence from that show they put on where they have live air feed and Cheney, you know, sitting up there and she was doing her thing. All that evidence is gone. If you had real hard evidence, why wouldn't you turn over to the prosecutors who were handling January 6? Why wouldn't you, when we asked to see it, have it to show us? Things like that made me afraid for our country. Correct. The January 6 committee that just recycled the edited garbage clips from the mainstream media and had no evidence, hid the tapes, hid everything. And then once now they're asked for the evidence, they scrubbed it. They got rid of it. They deleted it. They're like, oh, we don't have it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's with the, the emails it's with the, the blackberries and the emails and Hillary server. It, it stinks. It's disgusting. All right. Back to Dave. I mean, yeah, they hid, I think the transcripts with cash Patel, where he testified that yes, Trump authorized, authorized 10,000 national guard. But they kind of hid that from the public. So if we turn this around, do you think them hiding evidence, them creating this story, do you think the insurrection was actually against President Trump then? Haba. I mean, you could say that, right? Like I said, I don't like to use that word. I'm not going to use it against other people if I don't want it used against my client. I'm an American. I'm an American lawyer. First, so for me, I'm not. I'm not crazy. I don't suffer from whatever the opposite of Trump derangement syndrome is. I think all of the, it needs to stop. I think the federal government has entities that are working and colluding with some of these people. And that is a problem like Twitter files, bruh assets. Why were they on the ground? Why were they wearing MAGA hats? You know, if that's true, that's really disturbing. And you know what? I think American people are waking up. They go on to talk about 2020. And so it's funny. You have the in unhinged rant paragraph from the media matters person. And then the transcript of what they actually say. So here's the media matters person. Fishman and Haba also discussed the 2020 election with Haba pushing baseless claims of election fraud. She claimed that in 2020, we caught on to the last form of cheating. And now that they're trying to steal an election by putting the leading candidate in jail while emphasizing that she is not a conspiracy theorist person. She also agreed with Fishman that such supposed interference, they spelled interference wrong, so it's throwing me off. Shows how a conspiracy theory turns into truth. So they go on to say, and I'm just going to paraphrase, that the 2020 election had a lot of changes made, had a lot of things with mail-in balloting, had fake pipers, pauses, you know, the impossible graphs, etc., that lead people to ask very legitimate questions. Like the same kind of questions Democrats have asked every single time their candidate has lost since I've been alive. So cut the bullshit with the baseless claims. Democrats have baseless claims. Okay. Republicans have claims. I'm, I'm so over this. I'm so over this, but whatever the finale is her saying that current day, they are trying to bankrupt and imprison the leading political candidate for the country, Donald Trump. If that's not election interference, I don't know what the hell is. And that my friends is supposedly crazy, baseless conspiracy theory. She's the damn lawyer. She's telling exactly what happened. Exactly the process. What doesn't make sense. Well, you know, these media people, commie's got a commie. If you enjoyed the video, please like subscribe. If you have not already. This might get me demonetized. So at least you could do is like the video. Let me know what you think about the lawyer, Dave, this kind of video, and I'll see you in the next one.